Okay, so our strand is Europeans in Ghana, and then the south strand is missionary activities. So Christian missionary activities, the Europeans that came to the Gold Coast came along with some Christian missionaries. So from the second half of the 18th century, a number of um, Christian missionaries began to operate in different parts of the Gold Coast, now called Ghana. So let's discuss some of the Christian missions that came to Ghana and then the place that they, start, they started their work. So one is the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. So the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel missionaries worked in Cape Coast from 1752. And then the Moravian, that is United Brethren. So the Moravian, United Brethren missionaries worked in Elmina and Christian Book. And then number three says the Basel missions. So the Basel missions began their missionary activities at Equiapim in the eastern district of Ghana in 1828. And then the Wesleyan mission. So the Wesleyan missions established eight base, eight base at Cape Coast in 1835. So the next on the list is the, the North German missions. Okay, the North German missions established its first station at Piki in 1847. And then the Roman Catholic missions too. The Roman Catholic missions started its activities at Elmina in 1880 and extended its effort to Navrungu in the Upper East region in 1710. Then the African Methodist Episcopal Zion. The African Methodist Episcopal Zion began work at Cape Coast in 1898. And then the Seventh Day Adventist Missions. They began their work at Second Day in 1898. So it, it seems like um, the African Methodist Episcopal Zion and the Seventh Day Adventist Mission started their work during the same year. Okay, so now let's discuss some of the activities Christian missionaries engage. So there are missionaries that came to the Good Coast influenced or affected the lives of our people in many ways. So some of the ways were good and some of them were bad. So now let us learn about some of the good things that these missionaries did in the country. So here we are come to learn about the positive effects. The positive effects of Christian missionaries in Ghana. So one of the good things that the Europeans did is what introduction of Christianity. One good thing that the missionaries did in the country was that they introduced Christianity in Ghana. So before these missionaries came to Ghana, the people were worshipping smaller gods or were the people were traditional worshippers. But when the missionaries came, they took it upon themselves to convert the people into Christianity and to accept the worship of God. They did this by preaching the gospel, building mission schools and churches. So these are the things that they did in introduction of Christianity. And then the second one is formal education. Formal education. Another good thing that the Christian missionaries did when they came to Ghana was that they introduced formal education in the country. They set up so many schools in the country. Elementary and secondary schools were established. The Basel missions set up um, the first teacher training college. That is the Presbyterian teacher training college in 1848 at Akropon, that is Akropon. So the, and then the Wesleyan Mission also set up the first secondary school in Ghana. That is the Infantipim School in Cape Coast in 1874. So another positive aspect is um, health facilities. The missionaries built, they built a number of hospitals and clinics in Ghana. They set up uh, these centers to improve the life of Ghanaians. Dispensaries such as the one opened at Bagro and other places in the country has helped a lot of Ghanaians 
and then the production of literacy. The Europeans also translated the Bible into many Ghanaian languages. Examples, Cree language, Ewe language, and Ga language, and so on and so forth. And then another positive is vocational training centers. Apart from provision of formal education, the Christian missionaries also introduced modern forms of crafts such as carpentry, masonry, tailoring, and printing. They set up craft centers as part of their educational program to train artisans. Okay. And then the sixth one is trade. The Christian missionaries set up many trading companies in Ghana. Some of these trading companies dealt in agricultural products like cotton and palm oil. So the companies import European goods and export local products. For example, the Basel Mission set up the United Trading Company, UTC, as a Basel Trading World Company. The last but not the least is domestication of farm animals. The Christian missionaries also encouraged the rearing of farm animals among Ghanaians. In the end, animals like cattle, sheep, goats, and fowl were raised by the people to better what they are living standard. So this, this one brings us to the end of the video. I hope you use this lesson effectively. Thank you.